Hall. Rob Hall was born January 14, 1961 in Christchurch, New Zealand. He met Jan Arnold at Mount Everest in 1990. That same year, he and his climbing partner Gary Ball climbed the Seven Summits, the highest peak on every continent, in seven months. Rob and Jan's first date was climbing the highest peak in North America, Denali, a.k.a. Mount McKinley. The couple married in 1992 and summited Mount Everest together in 1993. Jan had originally intended to climb it again with Rob in 1996, but she discovered that she was pregnant. Rob and Gary opened Adventure Consultants in 1992. Clients paid them $65,000 to lead them safely to the top of Mount Everest. In 1996, eight clients hired Rob and two guides that worked for him, Mike Groom and Andy Harris. One of the clients was John Krakauer, a journalist who would go on to write the novel Into Thin Air about his journey up the mountain. Rob's 11-person team left Camp 4 just after midnight on May 10, headed for the summit. Another group called Mountain Madness, owned by Scott Fisher, set out with them. It is imperative that climbers reach the summit by 2 p.m. in order to make it back down to Camp 4 before dark. Rob, despite the dangers, stayed with a client named Doug Hansen, who was still attempting to summit at 3 p.m. The men made it to the summit. It was Rob's fifth summit and turned around, but at 5 p.m. a blizzard hit. Rob called for help. He told those at Camp 4 that Doug was unconscious. Andy packed water and supplemental oxygen and headed out to help the men. At approximately 4.45 the next morning, Rob called Camp 4 again. The situation had gotten worse. Andy had delivered the water and oxygen, but Rob didn't know where he was now. Doug had died during the night and Rob's oxygen mask was covered in ice. His fingers and toes were frostbitten and he was moving very slowly. The evening of May 12, Rob radioed base camp and asked them to call his wife. He told her not to worry about him, that he loved her and to sleep well. She undoubtedly knew that this was the last time she would ever speak to him, but Jan told Rob that she knew he would be rescued and to stay positive. When the weather finally permitted, a group headed up the mountain to try to save Rob. His body was located on May 23. Rob and Jan's daughter was born two months after his death. Please visit www.icantbelieveitsnonfiction.com and don't forget to subscribe.